in this session we will be discussing about factor analysis factor analysis is used for dimension reduction or it is used to know different items forming to different components in this session we will be seeing about execution of factor analysis using open source software PSPP I'm using an example on the screen we can see there are 17 questions these 17 questions are asked by researcher to know the opinion of respondents about intention their attitude their behavior towards eco-friendly products the researcher want to know how these 17 questions are grouped or formed into components he has asked various questions and using the software we want to form them into different components okay now I'm opening uh, this is PSPP software which is open uh, source software and it is coded here the same way as I explained earlier into different questions now I'm going to group these questions into different components I'll show the process okay these are 17 questions I'll show the process of execution for doing factor analysis I'm going to analysis in this factor analysis I am considering all 17 questions for factor analysis. I have selected 17 questions. And here we are going to do two steps. One is extraction, the other one is rotation. First extraction I am doing. The method used is principal component analysis. I want to do analysis with the correlation matrix. <clears throat> extraction is agent value over 1 so we will be considering uh, agent values uh, whose value is more than 1 since I don't have an idea how many factors or components are going to form I'm not going to consider number of factors right I'm saying continue and in rotation <clears throat> I want to do method uh, is very max rotation I want to display rotation solution okay maximum irritation for covariance uh, vergence is 25 continue okay after doing extraction and rotation in extraction I am going with principal component analysis and in rotation I am using very max rotation I am saying okay right this is the output screen we are in now <coughs> this is total variance explained this is the total variance which is explained we can see here uh, agent value which is more than one need to be considered so five components I'm considering in the analysis and these five components are explaining total variance of 71.83 means out of the total variables we are using here the total percentage of variance explained is 71.83 this is good generally we take whose uh, total variance percentage should be more than 70 percent so in this case it is 71.83 we can go ahead with this and the main task is seeing rotated component matrix how 17 questions are grouped into five components this is the main task which we are going to discuss I'm I have copied this into Excel no sorry word for clearly seeing uh, this is what I have copied the data <coughs> rotated component matrix 
total 17 questions are grouped into five components so in this first component uh, question number 11 question number 12 question 13 and question 14 are formed as one component one group so whose age in value is more than 0 0.5 only positive values need to be considered whose value is more than 0 0.5 will form a group so in the first component I don't have any other value which is more than 0 0.5 so I have highlighted with a green color so these four questions have formed component 1 and in the second component I have question 4 question 6 question 8 question 9 and question 10 and uh, the question 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 variables have formed as one component and in the third component I have two questions 0 0.73 and 0 0.81 whose value is more than 0 0.5 in this component need to be considered only question number 2 and 3 is considered in the same way fourth one 0 0.74 0 0.53 0 0.67 highlighted with the other color pink color so question number one question 15 and question 16 formed one more group and the final component is five I have question five and question seven or having age and value more than 0 0.5 so using factor analysis total 17 questions are formed into grouped into five components in this case we need to consider only questions in a component whose value is more than 0 0.5 if a question does not have <coughs> the value more than 0 0.5 we will exclude it from the analysis that's why we call factor analysis is reduction of items we will reduce items so in this case all 17 are considered that's why all 17 are grouped into five components so we have seen the same thing with the using SP, uh, PSPP software so the 17 questions are grouped in components I hope this is useful and informative Thank you.